channel. If you are new, my name is Mary and I'm so happy to have you here for today's self-care Sunday, the day of the week that we come together for a little self-care, skin care, and soul care to talk about love, dating, and the law of attraction. I am so happy to be back for self-care Sunday today. I've been like not as good about self-care Sunday as I should be and it's not because I'm not indulging in self-care. I'm just like really busy. I'm just, I'm just busy. I don't know. Like, I just got married. We're doing a lot of household stuff. Like, we've been living together for a while, but like, suddenly when we got married, my husband decided that he's like Tim the Tool Man Taylor and he wants to do a million projects around the house. And I've just been really busy in the most beautiful way. But I am here today, live with you. I don't know why I was pointing so much. It's really aggressive. I'm here <laughs> if you're watching this video. Um, as it premieres, I will be in the chat area. There's a live chat feature, you know, hanging out with you guys, talking to you about the video, talking to you about like whatever questions you may have, whatever. And if you're catching this video after it premiered, have no fear, I will be here next Sunday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, live and in person, ready to do it all over again with the, with the chatting and the hanging out and the vibing. Since this is Self Care Sunday, I am going to be doing like a face mask thing. And the product that I am using is from Pacifica because I'm trying to like avoid chemicals and sulfates and phthalates and all that stuff. So Pacifica is a really good brand for that. I'm not sponsored, but like if y'all want to sponsor me, Pacifica, you know. Uh, so we're doing the Kale Charcoal ultimate detox mask and this has clay charcoal kale and willow herb it helps fight blemishes blackheads and oil so i'm probably just going to put this like where my oily parts are and not the the supple luscious ones and i'm going to use this little thing right here and start talking about the topic as i apply so the topic for today's video as you probably saw in the title is third parties so for those who are still kind of new to the law of attraction and are like learning about this stuff, um, a third party is someone who exists whenever you're trying to manifest an SP. An SP being a specific person. And a third party is someone who is just like there, you know? I don't know, trying to mess that up for you, whether they realize it or not. Like you're, you're here, you've picked your person, you know who this dude or dudette is, and you're like trying to manifest them. And then here's this like third party that's trying to like steal your man or your girl. And I don't care if they don't realize that it's not your man or your girl because the universe hasn't conformed yet. That's your man, that's your girl. Like get out of the way, third party. So I actually, shockingly, had a bit of a third party situation when my husband and I were broken up. So those who don't know my story, um, my husband, like this time last year, was my SP. We were formally in a relationship. He ended that relationship and I was like, oh my God, I gotta get this dude back. He's the love of my life. And so I manifested him back. And I didn't just manifest him back. I wanted to manifest him back like permanently. And so I was focused on manifesting marriage with this dude. I'm trying to wipe this off my hands. But now like, now like I'm, that's crooked. I did it. I manifested marriage. Like he proposed earlier this year and we went and did the courthouse thing um, two months ago. So like I did the damn thing. But I want to talk to you about this third party thing. So kind of putting my business out there a little bit. Whatever. We're all friends here. When my husband, who was like my boyfriend at the time and then became my ex, um, when he ended the relationship last year, um, I was I was devastated. Obviously, I love him very much. So I was devastated. But I kind of had this like this feeling, this knowing that we would end up together, we would end up married, like everything was gonna work out, I was gonna manifest him back, I was gonna have everything that I wanted, and I had this like feeling of peace about me. And it was not 24 seven, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I'm like little Miss Perfect Manifester, all high and mighty. I did not feel 
at peace all the time. There were times I was sad and there were times I was scared and there were times I was angry, but there were also a lot of times that I just had this knowing about me, just knowing we were gonna end up together. But we were broken up for like six months, okay? And so like, what, do, what are you gonna do? What do you do? Like when the 3D hasn't conformed to your reality that you're building in your mind, what do you do? So I did what I advocate for here on my page. I dated other people, okay? I dated other people. I'm like, you know what? We're broken up, I'm grown, I'm gonna date other people. And I did, and I had a really good time. Like, I was dating some really cool people. I was getting like spoiled rotten and taking on these amazing dates. I had this one guy who spent friggin' two and a half hours cooking me this amazingly elaborate dinner and like, like, just like very thoughtful, awesome, good dudes were just drawn to me. It's crazy as I was like trying to manifest my SP, just like the like vibe I was putting out of openness and willingness to love. I had all these men just swarming towards me and I was like eating it up. It was like, it was really good. So, so when you're trying to get rid of a third party, like let's say you have an SP and there's a third party, I'm going to recommend that you do the thing I recommend on this page anyway, which is date other people. Why are you worrying about what he or she is doing? If y'all aren't together, if y'all don't, don't even worry about it. You can manifest them into your life romantically without worrying about what they're doing in the present. And a great way to not worry about what they're doing in the present is to date other people. It's so good for your ego. It keeps you busy. It takes your focus off of your SP. Like if you have not started dating other people, if you're sitting there pining away for your SP, just waiting for the 3D to catch up, you are doing yourself a major disservice. So please, please, please date other people. You can still like you know, be building a new reality in your mind and with your energy and with your intent. But in the 3D, you can be like going out for bougie dinners and getting flowers and presents all the time. Like, why would you not do that? So here is the kicker, okay? I, tell, I told you guys like earlier, I had like a third party situation in my own relationship when we were broken up. Here is the importance of self-concept, okay? I was doing a lot of self-concept affirmations of like, I am all that he ever wants. I'm all he ever thinks about. He's so obsessed with me. He's so in love with me. He can't wait to marry me. Oh my God. Like we're growing old and gray together. Like, you know, I'm the love of his life, all this stuff, right? Uh -uh -uh. Sexiest thing ever, Ba ba ba. Was really getting into the self-concept stuff. I didn't know that for a very brief time, like literally a couple of weeks, when I was out like woo wooing it up, dating all these dudes, having the time of my life, he actually dated someone else. I just thought he was like, I, I think I was like so focused on like, I'm the love of his life and I'm this and I'm that and I'm such a baddie. I think I, I think at the time I did not think it was possible. Like I could not fathom him possibly wanting another woman. That's how like pumped I was about myself. I was hyping myself up like, I am the only one he has eyes for. And for like two weeks, he tried to date someone else. And I found out about this once we like got back together, he told me everything, but like, I didn't know it at the time. And so when I tell you guys, like focus on the things that you do want, don't focus on the things that you don't want. Whenever you're trying to like manifest an SP and there's a third party, don't even take the third party like into the equation when you're coming up with your affirmations or your visualizations or whatever. Don't even think about him or her because they are irrelevant. They are irrelevant. You and I both know how this is going to end. You're gonna end up with your dude or your dudette, okay? Just like I knew, no matter what little distractions tried to find their way into his life or tried to push their way into his life, I knew exactly where he was going to end up. I knew exactly where he was going to end up and I had this confidence and this peace and this knowing. But if I had somehow found out that for like those two weeks or whatever, he was dating someone else, I probably would have lost my shit even though I was doing the exact same thing even though I was doing the exact same thing. I probably would have lost my shit. And it would have been so much harder for me to keep my self-concept going, for me to be focused on the end result, because I'm gonna be thinking like, 
Is he with her right now? What is he doing? What's going on? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're still gonna get the thing that you want. You're still gonna get, like if you have a want, a desire for something, it is already yours. All you have to do is focus your intent on the end result, which for me was marriage. That's it. So whenever you're trying to manifest away a third party, again, make your affirmations, visualizations, gratitude exercises, your journaling, whatever it is that you wanna do, focused on you, and your SP. Don't worry about anyone else because no one else is relevant. They are some irrelevant ass hoes. She is an irrelevant ass hoe, okay? Don't even worry about her or him. Don't worry about him. And that brings me to my last point about manifesting away the miserable little third parties that need to disappear for you to have everything that you want. Stay off your SP social media. Stay off your SP's social freaking media, okay? Now, thankfully, my now husband at the time, my ex, he wasn't like posting anyone on his social media. Like there was no, there was, there was nothing like, there was nothing that would have given me any indication that he was doing what I was doing and dating other people. But, <laughs> but, you know, I wasn't like running through his stuff with a fine tooth comb, looking at his likes, looking at his comments, seeing who he's following, blah, 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 blah. Like, not gonna do that. Why? Because you are staying hyper focused on him. You're going to find stuff you don't want to find. Okay. Or you're going to make stuff up in your head where even if there's nothing there, even if it's like legit, just a friendship or like some rando girl, I like who doesn't matter, like, like from college, like you're going to see stuff and you're going to get all spun up and it's going to take your focus and your energy and your intent away from what you're trying to manifest. <sighs> If you want to unfollow him or block him or whatever, if that's what makes you feel better, then do it. But at the very least, just don't like go on his page snooping. You can like, you can, what's the option? It's not like unfollow, but it's like on Instagram where you can just choose not to see someone in your feed and choose not to see someone's stories when they pop up. Just do that. Just do that. Like that's all you got to do. You know, this, this all boils down to just keeping your focus on what matters. Don't worry about a third party or like a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, if this person is dating around, like, like what's good for the goose is not good for the gander. I want you to date. I want you to have the focus and the energy and the attention of a whole bunch of eligible bachelors or bachelorettes coming towards you and hyping you up and making you feel good. Okay. But we're not worried, we're not even worried about your SP because they're, they're not doing that. They won't, they can't. And if there is a third party, they're already on their way out the door. You just have to help give it that final push by keeping your focus on the end goal, which is you and your happily ever after, if that's what you're seeking. In my case, it was. I was like, this dude's gonna marry me. But it's the last thing I do. And he did. So that's all I have for you guys. If you want me to do any more videos, like more elaborate stuff on third parties, like what types of affirmations or visualizations you can do to get your SP, I'm happy to do those. Just drop a comment in the comment section below and just let me know what you wanna see. I kinda just wanted to make this video like a little bit of how to get rid of a third party, but also mostly like, here's my experience where I got rid of a third party without even realizing there was a third party involved, which is kind of cool. Like after the fact, I was like, oh damn, I did that. But I mean, it wasn't too hard to do because like she's her and I'm me. Now I have to wash all of this off of my face because it is dry and it's gotta go. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye friends.